Kani is a fertile valley in the Himalayas. It is in the central region and made up of the districts Danding Tirpreshur and the nearby Muchok village. Being a remote region, people don't leave their village often. Village schools were introduced in Nepali mountain regions about 10 to 20 years ago and are scattered all throughout the ranges. They now offer the children from different villages a chance to talk and meet with each other and also gives them a reason to travel to the school village and sometimes into the city and abroad if sponsored. The Akane Community Project is run by the former inhabitants of the villages and offers donators a chance to visit to see the locals at school. It is a basic traditional school setting with uniforms and subjects. Hello. In the school setting, the children are much more subdued but happy. Hello, namaste. The school was built in 2006 by the support of the local village fund and the non-for-profit group from Italy called Perce Non Onlus. <laughs> There is also a principal, whose name is Ram Kanal, and he went to the university in Kathmandu called TU. Teachers wear uniforms too and teach subjects like mathematics, social studies and English. All classes are conducted in Nepali language. As little concrete as possible is used in this region, as they do not want to disturb the natural ecosystem in such a fertile valley where crops of corn, rice and wheat grow abundantly. Most of the villages have a steep climb over hills with a massive gradient to attend school and no government funding is available due to their focus being more on roads in Kathmandu. Nepal has had a civil war from 1996 to 2006, which has diminished much of its national wealth. School starts early at 6am and goes till 11am each day before it gets too humid, so attention spans are at their optimum. After school, both teachers and pupils go home to help in the fields, feeding the animals or harvesting crops. There is no running water in the village and being remote, there is limited opportunity to export crops. So money, especially of Western and European currencies, go a long way in Nepal. With an exchange rate of one Australian dollar to 85 Nepali rupees presiding at the time of my visit, I was shown how much value my donation had on the school. From Australia, she, she is the special guest in our program. A concert was prepared in honor of the donation, and songs of praise and reflection were sung by the children. Being mid June, the looming monsoon season spirit was felt and respected by the assembled group. A special meeting was held that day involving the principal of the upper school, Ram Kamal, and the committee leader at the junior school. Its agenda was expressed at the assembly. As a special guest, I was adorned with garlands and holy red Hindu blessing powder. Although I'd seen the ceremony before, I had never had it done for me personally, so it was anticipated well. There were several groups of young, beautiful females dancing rehearsed choreograph sequences to live tabla beats. The traditional dance has a symbolic strength that offers praises to the strength of the warrior. The great Genghis Khan had an influence on Nepal. Songs, dancing and speeches combined took over an hour. Nepal has three major influences, India, China and Mongolia. Although Malaysia has a subtle influence on their culture as well. The main languages spoken in Nepal are Hindi and Nepali.
although the major language in India is Bengali, and in China, Mandarin. The Pali people tend to eat with their hands, unless eating noodle soup, one of their favorite snacks, which they then eat with a fork or a spoon, and not chopsticks. Life is different from village to village, but no one is a stranger in a Himalayan village, as long as you can speak the language. All life is honored. It was an honor for me to be part of this ceremony, and to see how much joy my meager donation, in my standards, brought to the children of the Akane Village Junior School. You too can help to support this brilliant incentive by sponsoring a student or a teacher. Please contact Ram Sepkoda, the founder of the Himalayan Community Project for the Akani Village School.